Hey YouTube, what is up? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install the Beast, a custom build for Cody, on Cody. Um, the way we're going to be doing it today is a little bit different. We're not going to be using any wizards or sources or anything like that. Um, because I'm running a Raspberry Pi 2 and I have had no luck with any wizards. They all seem to error out, uh, every single one of them. I couldn't install any build. Um, so the way we're going to do is a little, little different. So, uh, you're going to need Cody installed over top of Raspbian. Um, Raspbian Cody is much faster and it's super easy to install. So take a look at my other video if you need help doing so. Uh, let's get started. So go to just new tech.com. No HTTP. Just, just new tech. Okay, and once you're there, you're going to want to go into Wizards. And you're going to want to install Crisp. Install Crisp be the Beast, the best build on Cody.zip. So go ahead and install that. It's 514 megs. So be patient and give it some time. And I will be back with you once it's installed. Okay, so once it's installed and you have it in your folder, you're going to want to extract it. So extract all and extract it to, to the same folder. And it will take some time and be patient with it. And as soon as it extracts, I'll be back. Okay, so it's extracted, and now you're going to want to copy the contents of the crispy folder onto a removable disk, so basically a USB key. Uh, the USB key doesn't have to be big, just big enough to support the file. Um, so, in that folder, we have add-ons media user data cody dot log cody dot old dot log so once you copy the folder in we're gonna go over to the raspberry pi uh, and then we'll uh, sub it in to cody okay so now that we have moved on to the raspberry pi um, plug in your usb stick into the Pi. And I'm going to do that right now. There we go. Okay, so now just go ahead, open it in File Manager. And we'll minimize that for now. And open up File Manager again. Now, here's the tricky part. Well, not really tricky, but press control H that is control H and you get a whole bunch of these hidden little folders here okay so now go into dot Cody and you see add-ons media sound system temporary and user data now go in back to your USB stick open this up and do you notice how this comes with add-ons, media, Cody log, and Cody.old log? You're going to want to go back into point Cody. And once you're in point Cody, delete add-ons and media, as well as user data. Once again, in point Cody, you're going to want to delete add-ons media and user data that is in point Cody so move them to trash yes now you're going to want to take everything in that in on your USB stick once again that is on your USB stick and copy it into dot Cody once again that is dot Cody and paste. 
shouldn't take too long, but give it some time. A couple minutes is all it should take. Okay, so once everything has copied and we've done it correctly, Cody should open up in the beast. So you can go ahead and exit everything. And if everything went well and we did everything, we should get the beast. There you go. You have success successfully installed the beast on Cody without using any kind of wizard. And this, I cannot guarantee that it'll work for every other build, but I know it'll work for this build. And this is the best way to do it for a Raspberry Pi 2. Because if you've noticed, a whole lot of wizards don't work. And in my opinion, this Cody is much better than uh, any of the other images you'll find. And that is it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, well, hit the unlike button. Um, thank you for watching once again. And I hope you enjoy your brand new Cody with Chris B's The Beast. The best at the best build for Cody.